Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. It's January 2nd, 2024. First day of trading for the new year. So I'm excited to get back into it. Uh, woke up today to the markets in the red, though. So we'll have to see how that all plays out. Oh, we got Chris back in the group. All right. Twenty twenty three was good for our. Oh, man, I've been fighting a cold since mid-November. Like, my voice has been like this. Like, I feel fine, but just can't get my voice back. I don't know. It's, it seems like this happens to me every year. I get some, get some sinus issues come winter. So the voice has been a little crackly lately. Actually, not lately, about a month. Yeah, it's... Uh, that's a good idea. I do have some honey, too. I could do that. So I, was, I hope you've all had a chance to review my uh, yearly recap. Really happy. The Mighty 90 was just outstanding. 73% um, win percentage. And definitely, I definitely think one thing that contributed to it was my ability to not look at my P and L when it goes bad and then being able to add to it when I'm down. So position sizing appropriately so that I could add to it, I think was really key. So look to continue the mighty 90 winning ways in 2024. The Dow is currently down 224. And there's the bell. NASDAQ futures down 178 and S&P futures down 36. So I'm interested to see if today, if on this first day, keep in mind, you know, the markets have been close to some all time highs, but I'm interested to see if, um, it doesn't bounce back here today or if it stays weak. VIX is up, uh, let me see here, almost 12%. So will the markets continue to come down today or will they bounce back as trading is now open? <laughs> Might be a good idea to be a little cautious as the year starts here. I also posted for anybody new, kind of the way I ended my 2023 with my buying power used. So the last few months, I kind of got to where I was 2,500 or up for a medium position. Whereas... I began last year with about 2,500 and below, actually about 2,000 and below as a small, as a medium position. So now that will become my small position size. Riot blockchain was up over 10% in the pre-market coming down now. Tesla reported 485,000 deliveries in the fourth quarter of 2023. I saw that this morning here. Tesla currently one of the only ones in the green. Apple down big. 
Might be a good time to buy some Apple shares and hold them. Also, if you're new, make sure you use the Discord day trading chat channel. Do not use the Zoom chat. It's not something I monitor. And it's kind of that way for, uh, well, it is that way for the, when Steve is doing the Zero DTE live as well, he, he doesn't monitor the Zoom chat. So we're getting a few stocks pushing up, but several still pushing down. VIX is coming down, though. It opened up. Uh, it was up over 14. Now it's down to 13.77. Amazon has now gone in the red as well. So things are a fallen. However, the Dow is pushing up. Nice push up with the Dow. NASDAQ getting weaker, down over 1%. And the S&P coming up just slightly. So we'll have to see what happens here with our second volume bar. Imagine this push down is good welcome for the zero DTE iron condor. <laughs> I'm going to wait a bit here and see if... Uh... The S&P kind of levels out, although it didn't push up as much as the Dow did. And it did not, it's not falling as much as the NASDAQ did. Also, if you're new, you can welcome... I will be calling out the strikes. I'm just buying puts and calls, buying calls when I'm long, buying puts when I'm short, and I'll be calling out the strikes. It's up to you whether you want to take the trades. I do or not. Um, you know, you don't have to take everything that I take. And there's times where I don't take things that maybe you want to take. And, um, also, one something that's very important is you don't always have to get my fill. So, you know, if I say I got filled at 425, you know, I'd say probably 50% of the time people don't get as good a fill as me. And sometimes 50% of the time you get, they get better, better fills. So it all balances out. I always tell people if you want to get in, you know, and I got filled and you haven't gotten filled at that price, just adjust a tick or two and get yourself filled. Walmart with a nice push up and target. NASDAQ really fallen. 
Down 189 points. There might be some opportunity to get to buy some tech stocks and hold them. Checking for a big volume bar bigger than the previous one and, and, and in the same direction. <laughs> Yeah, I was just looking at NVIDIA. I was looking at Baidu as well. Baidu's flipping back and forth. Got a little over a minute. Roku as well. Let's take a peek at what they look like here in... Think or swim. Yeah, Roku just flipped green. S and P coming down past op opening lows. So NVIDIA, I'd like to see it push down some more. I don't think it's going to get there anyway. It's 30 seconds left here on this bar. So nothing, nothing I'm too wild about here. Beyond Meat? Don't even have Beyond on here anymore. Stock got so... That's so low. But if you want a lower price stock, it definitely is a downside volume runner. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one, but I'm gonna wait here. I'm waiting a little bit. Probably going to wait until another, probably maybe another 10 minutes or so and see what it's doing. What I'm trying to avoid here is like what the NASDAQ is doing and giving this big old push out of the gates. See if it kind of evens itself out. Wow, NASDAQ down 220. Airbnb is kind of holding on like it wants to not drop with the rest of these. Yeah, Beyond Me, definitely. If you want a smaller stock, Walmart not phased by this push down. <laughs> So I'll be looking for a mighty 90 now. And I'm really wanting to see a, a distinct separation of volume with uh, the, current, the current bar being bigger than the previous in the same direction. Not just a little bit bigger than it. Like I'm looking for some significant difference in the size. So far it appears we're just getting... Some stair stepping down in volume, which isn't always, it's not what we want.
uh, Mighty 90, we want a volume pop, volume bar, big, like, like what Zoom looks like now. Some distinct separation. Definitely want it having, if it's a Mighty 90 long, we want it to push down through lows of day. Zoom's looking more like it's going to get a big volume bar to be a volume downside volume runner over a Mighty 90 long right now. But if it was to end right now, that's this, what I'd like to see. Win, also not phased one bit. Market's going down. That's like getting crushed. <laughs> Amazon coming down. You know what Zoom, you know what it's, uh, Options are looking like. I haven't traded it in a while because it's been so small. It doesn't look like it's going to get a big volume bar anyway. Looks like it's going to get a mighty 90. But it's already popped up. We are trading the three days to expiration option chain. And it calls her 13 cents wide. Yeah, win. Upside volume runner. So if it comes down here closer to this pivot, I can look at getting long, but I wouldn't get long until it pulled back pretty good. Square. Let me check square over here. Yeah, square with a downside volume runner. So if it pops up kind of like to this pivot, I definitely would be interested in getting in, but I got there and toss. Take a look at it and toss, Chris. Yeah, I pretty much always check both nowadays for volume runners. I check uh, think or swim, unless it's just obvious. But zero pullback, or I'm sorry, zero bounce right now in square. So I'm not in anything yet. VIX up over 
Yeah, but not at this moment because it's already bounced Amazon. Yeah, Roku looks like it's going to get there, definitely. Yeah, Roku definitely there. We'll see if it pops up here a little bit. No bouncing square. NASDAQ down 253. All right, Roku popping up a little bit. So I would trade the 90 puts. Ah, I was trying to get filled at 235 and then it just went, it did not stay up very, very long. Now it's just falling. Yeah, square, I mean, no bouncing square at all either. I got we're in at 235 for Roku on the 90 puts. I'll leave it there for a minute. And... Popping up a little bit here. Will it get me filled? Filled at 235. And here's a situation where you might get a better fill than I did. Yeah, you will. You would. So... It's kind of what I was talking about. This is ideally the best place to get in right here at this pivot. Wow, what a reversal. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Not the, not the first, it's not, not ideal setup or not ideal first volume runner of the year. I can tell you that. I'm going to add to it. Fill it 212. So your, your exit on a volume runner is if it goes higher than the price point where it, it started with the big volume bar. So it's kind of right at my exit right there. So I'm going to give it this bar here and see if it reverses. And if it finishes, see, it's pushed, barely pushed above it. So uh, my question is, by the time this bar closes, Will it have come back down or will it have stayed above there? So I will hold on to it if it comes back down and finishes below it. If it finishes above here, then I will close it. 
see, I mean, look at look at all the rest of these: Nvidia, Netflix, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon. They're all pushing down, and <laughs> and I mean, Roku's volume bar and Thinkorswim is big too, so it's definitely correct here. But I don't want to panic. Square popped up a little bit here as well. I could have got in right there. C square. I'm jumping here quick. 75, uh, 74 puts. Ah, came back down. Never mind. Came back down too quick. So Roku. I would close half at 235, which was my original entry. Man, I was close to getting filled there. Thought I was going to get it. Build at 235. So good add in Roku. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten in square right up there too. Darn it. Wow, meta falling. Yeah, I, I really wanted square and I kind of saw it late as it was starting to pull back a little bit. You know, I didn't push like like Roku did. So I went to jump in. As soon as I tried to jump in, it just really came down. Unfortunate. You can kind of see meta, you know, it, people might sometimes think this is a mighty 90. And I like it to be a little more separation than that. I would close another Roku at 255. Man, Amazon falling. Meta still falling. Netflix still falling. NASDAQ down 280. Filled at 240, uh, 24, uh, 255, sorry. So good add on Roku. Nice push down here. Man, what a bloody day so far.
So now's the time where you maybe can start looking for some continuation runners as well. What do you mean by target price, Bumblebee? Roku popping back up. When do we get completely out? Well, we 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 get out when I just we scale out. I mean, there isn't a target price for getting out, like on a volume runner. Like you you scale out as it continues to fall, or you get out where your exit is, which is what I was talking about earlier. So remember I was saying I would bail on it if it didn't, if it pushed and stayed above this point here. So otherwise you're just scaling out as it continues to go down. There's not like a set price as it goes down in your favor. I just scale out every 10%. So Roku popping back up, which I don't like to see. So we're going to be getting a new bar right now, and it's kind of right at that part where it got forced down once already. Some people might even choose to reload when it's up here. I'm not going to, but. And TKNG through highs of day. Wow. So this is kind of what I was talking about when the bell opened. You know, I was like, you know, I was interested in, okay, is this going to continue lower? Or are we eventually going to see a rebound here? today and uh definitely continued lower out of the gates um but now there are some stocks flirting with going through highs of day so i'm, I'm going to cut my roku because it's past that point right now at a dollar ninety five. So man, it was an interesting volume runner to start twenty twenty four. But this is a good example, Bumblebee, of instead of uh, what's our target price, it's like where do we get out? Okay, so we get out when it goes above this point, right? Or where the big volume bar is, at the start of the price. Otherwise, if it never gets there, we just continue to scale out as it goes lower. Um, Roku uh, was kind of flirting with a big volume bar right here, too, as big as the first. So now's the time where it's like, okay, are we going to – we got a little bit of a bounce. Is Netflix going to roll over at this pivot? Um, or is it going to continue to push? I've always said the hardest days to trade are the ones where you get a big push out of the gate and then it reverses and you get an equal big push, you know, big push down, big push up. Because you get no fill for the direction. I'm thinking Netflix is going to roll back over. 
So I'm going to take a downside continuation runner in Netflix. Four seventy five puts. Build at five seventy five. So I just jumped in, and, and you know, you might wait until it pushes back up to this pivot if you want to get maybe a better fill than I got. I was aggressive in getting in. So where would my exit be? So my exit would be if it pushes through this pivot, then I would exit. So to me, it becomes a low risk trade if you can get filled right up at this pivot because it might just sit here for a little bit. It might push through at the end and you're like, okay, I'm cutting it. So you're taking the risk of it. You're wanting it to roll over. But if it doesn't, it should turn into a small loser. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know if you heard me say, I don't like those mighty 90s right there. Like, there isn't much volume separation. I, I even commented on Metas. I was like, this, this isn't something I really like where it's, I like it when there's more distinct separation. You must mean uh, Netflix, Chris. <laughs> right. You said bad fill in Roku at 585. Yeah, you meant Netflix. <laughs> Yeah, so here, here, you know, and it may push right back up to this pivot, but as long as it doesn't go through the pivot, I'm going to stay in it. But once it pushes through the pivot, okay, I'm out for the continuation runner. What you really want to see is roll over right here, or if it gives another green bar, it's a real small one, just like this second one here. I see DK and G, although it's a tight range, it's actually above highs of day. See Airbnb push down, and this is actually a little bit better, mighty 90 than that metal one Airbnb had. I've got an order in at 635 to close half my Netflix. Tesla's kind of trying to get right up to where it opened, but it's struggling to push through. Sometimes people miss the fills. You know, they miss my fill and they're like, ah, oh, okay, I missed it. I'm not getting in. But here's an opportunity where you could have got a better fill than me even five minutes later. Like you could probably get in for 565 now where I got in at 575. NASDAQ futures down 258. Dow. And Dow's only down 53 points. <laughs> Roku's starting to approach where it opened.
AMD staying weak. You see how it kind of pushed up to this pivot? Now it looks like it wants to push through lows of day. Apple looking at producing its fourth green bar in a row. So again, this is it's kind of a tough trading day here, the first day of 2024. Um, here's Meta. You can see how it pushed up to that pivot, and now it's starting to roll over. So that's what we would want to have seen here in Netflix. So hopefully that gives you a good example of a continuation runner to the downside. <clears throat> Roku having trouble pushing through where it opened, same as Tesla. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to, things are going to get weak again. I mean, for things to get stronger, you're going to have to see some, some of these stocks pushing through highs of day. Yeah, see, look at Boeing. Two green bars rolled over. Netflix coming up to this pivot. So I'm going to keep close eye on it. So it never got above it. So th this will probably be the, the bar that gives us the answer of which way it's headed. Is it going to push above through it or is it going to roll over? Roku is the same thing. Is it going to push through it or is it going to roll over? Really not seeing anything else I want to jump into right now. So kind of a slow trading day, even though there's been some Pretty decent price movement. Yeah, I mean, that's why you just continue to hold until, you, you know, you stay mechanical. Don't freak out if you get down in it a little bit. Yeah, see, Roku couldn't, couldn't break through. Amazon, a little two bar and then roll over. Boeing through lows of day. That's what we need Netflix to do. DKNG got forced back down. So my initial assumption is going to be that things are going to stay weak today, at least for the time being. Man, there are some things coming down, and Netflix is just not coming down with them, though. Uh, I got out of half my got out of half my iron condor.
Yeah, Tesla trying to hold on. Stays like this so you can learn a lot about price movement. Yeah, yeah, I, I did an iron condor at 848. It wasn't the best. I didn't get I got filled at 555. And I just got a half at 440. Here I'll post it. A lot of times I don't. If I'm in live streaming, I don't post it in the live chat channel because I'm too busy watching. Oops, hold on. If you guys want me to start posting it in the day trading chat channel, it's probably a little bit easier for me to do. No, I'm not on bots, no. There's my open and my out of half. I'm going to bail if it goes through the pivot. So, I mean, you got Roblox through lows of day, Boeing through lows of day. Roku coming down. Meta, Meta not able to get through that pivot. Again, I got an order in at 635 to get out of half of Netflix. Price price movement. Those are fill what? Netflix? I've got a got an order to close half at uh, 635. You know, price range has definitely tightened up on a lot of these stocks. Look at NVIDIA. And Netflix hasn't moved more than about a point in the last 25 minutes. So there may be a little consolidation happening before it falls again. Yeah, a lot of them have, though. I mean, same thing. I mean, look at the range in Meta. It's a three hundred and forty-three dollar stock, and it's like less than a point as well. So it appears to be having a little consolidation going on. Microsoft trying to keep up there by that pivot. Go to six thirty five. So out of half of my Tesla, I mean Netflix, I'm sorry, my Netflix.
You get filled, huh? I bet you get filled here in a sec. Sometimes if that happens to me, I'll just adju adjust a, a tick. So like 630 in this case. Okay. It also depends on how much time's left in the bar and where it's going. Now it looks like it wants to pop back up. And Boeing falling. So minimal price movement here. Last 30 minutes. I'm using toss. <laughs> Does it? I mean, Roblox through lows, Baidu's coming back down to lows, Baba, Square, Boeing. Things have really slowed down, I can tell you that. <laughs> I bet you still get filled, though. Amazon down to lows. Six point one five, huh? Man, it's sitting at six twenty five to six thirty. Mid, mid range, mid is six twenty five right now. Ah, gotcha. Well, not sure what to think here. Price movement is just minute. At the moment, which doesn't bode well for strat these strategies. Tesla's in the green, Target, Walmart, Disney in the green, JPM in the green. Dow's down 47, SP down 35. Man. Yeah, I mean, I might bail on my Netflix here too. It's just not going anywhere. I'll give it this bar and see what it does. And Dow's coming up to highs of day. And Costco's bleeding lower. Baidu, looks like it wants to get down to lows of day. Baba pushing maybe through lows of day. PayPal up to highs of day. Disney through highs of day. And not a bad idea. Although it still doesn't look like it wants to push up very bad, but it's not really going anywhere either. Just hasn't really been a good mighty 90 today.
Tesla back up to where market opened. Can it push through? <clears throat> See a bumblebee? Yeah, just not a ton of action here today. That is for sure. I would close another Netflix at 690. I don't know that it could ever get it'll get down there though. Feels like it wants to chop. Yeah, PayPal through highs of day. Huh. Tesla. Uh oh, look out. Look out, Tesla. Is it going to get forced down or is it going to push through highs? Man, it's trying to get through highs at the moment. It just got through highs. Interesting. Netflix, though, still struggling a bit. Can Tesla stay up there? If it gets pushed down right now, it's all for naught. Man, anything else? Slow morning. Walmart trying to get through highs of day. Man, kind of a disappointing day. Uh, I was really looking forward to get back into the swing of things, but only two trades today. Meta looks like it wants to go through lows of day. So far, so good on Netflix. Meta. Push through lows. Build at 690 in Netflix. Close a quarter. We got two Netflix left. Man, it looks like Tesla was all for not. So here's an interesting decision sometimes you have to make. Okay, so Net, uh, Netflix came down and bounced right here. So now it's coming down to where that bounce started. So... I'm going to see if it pushes through it. If it looks like it wants to bounce again and kind of do this again, then I will bail. But it looks like I might want to go through lows.
Sometimes that's just a decision you have to make. Amazon looks like it wants to come through Lowe's as well. Oh man, PayPal coming back down. NASDAQ back down 270. I've got an order at 750 to close another Netflix. Well, we might have got our answer. It looks like things are going to stay weak today. Say what though? The Dow. It's 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 holding on. Nasdaq's trying to push through lows. Only two trades for me today. That's a bummer. Yeah, Meadow have been another good downside continuation runners that came up to this pivot. Very similar to Netflix, but it has pushed well through the lows of day, which is what you want. I wanted to see on uh, Netflix here. Netflix down over 3%. Meta down 3.5%. So Meta and Netflix, very similar. I chose Netflix. Apple coming back down. Looks like maybe it wants to push through lows as well. Yeah, I know. It's Roku. It's, I mean, that's, I've, so I was talking about earlier. It's so hard to trade these strategies when you have a push down, push up, push down, push up. There's no consistency. I mean, it got right up to where the price opened today at 830 Central and just got forced right back down. And see, Tesla, Pushed up, tried to get through highs and just got forced right back down. <laughs> Take a look at square. Ah. See, I was looking at getting short square too. Ah. Pushed up. So a lot of good examples of continuation runners to the downside today. Wow, well, look at DK and G. It really fell. It, 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 DKNG actually went through highs of day and then got forced down. Man, just can't get Netflix to push through lows. <sighs> so it can be frustrating when you see everything else pushing lows of day. Well, I don't think I'm going to get in anything else. And if I see a, if, if it gives a green bar here, Netflix, 
and then looks like it's going to give another green bar, I'm going to bounce out of it. If it gives a green bar and then it turns over and rolls over, kind of like Amazon's looking like, then I will hold. But if it gives me any of this two bar push up, it's just not worth it because it's such a tight range. So I will post my out in the day trades channel. I want it to look like Apple, how that's falling through. So I'll let this bar close, see what the next one does, and then make my decision. So I will be back tomorrow. So I'll see everybody tomorrow. Hopefully we can get more trades on tomorrow than we did today. So we'll see you then. Peace.